What's up guys, Seattle Gamer here, back with our first look video of the series where I play a video game for the very first time for your visual enjoyment. Today we're playing Dust, an Elysian Tale by Humble Hearts. This is an action RPG slash beat em up game. I will leave an annotation on the screen if you want to skip right to the gameplay because we're going to look at the help and options menu first. As you can see, there's a full-on gameplay manual here that shows exactly everything that you need to know about the game, which is pretty nice as well. Now there's also controls. As you can see, it has full controller support as well as mouse and keyboard, which shouldn't really surprise you because this is an Xbox arcade game as well. So lots and lots of different stuff here. Good stuff, HUD, inventory, all sorts of stuff here. Next on, we're going to go to settings. We can see there's resolution, full screen on and off, depth of field on and off, post processing, weather effects, variable refresh, portrait quality I set to high because why not? Sound volume sliders all the way up to 100% as well as music volume. A colorblind mode, auto advance, I'm not actually quite sure what this does. Auto heal, which we have off. Auto level up, also off. And as you can see, there's several different control method methods, mouse and keyboard, as well as your controller. Vibration on and off, which I'm going to set to off, actually, because I'm not using a controller. And auto fire on and off. We were playing version 1.04, and here is where you can have fully rebindable controls here as well. So let's get out of this menu, adjust the HUD, let's see, scale it, let's scale everything, yeah, it looks pretty good, okay, everything looks here, looks pretty good, so we'll just, uh, actually we'll just put it back to where it was, excellent, as well as credits, we're not going to look at those, instead we're going to look at the achievements, you can see there's several achievements, like I said, this was originally an Xbox arcade game, so you have secret ones as well as some other stuff here. So pretty nice. And now to the main course, the game itself. Dust in the Legion Tell supports auto-saving in addition to manual save slots. Please note that starting a new game or loading an existing game will overwrite the auto-save slot. Alright. Uh, we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just start with this one. Why not? We'll do normal, because why not? Here we go. Our world has fallen to fade. Its great works long since complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. Hey, it's us! He stood no chance, and the soldier showed no mercy. So, but this is actually us. His victories, his skills, his ruthlessness. The valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single ch A single what? The world will never know. Dust. Dust. Arise. What? A talking sword? What are you? Only that which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. <laughs> Stop! Stop right there! And who is she? Me? I'm Fidget, guardian of the sword. So we say, you don't look like a guardian to me. 
Or, your name is Fidget? Or, what is this sword anyways? We'll go with that one. I'm sorry, I think I misheard before. You said your name was Fidget? Hey, this isn't about me. You're the one who's got my sword. How about you tell me your name? I'm... Uh, call yourself Fidget. His name is Dust. And he is the one who woke me from my slumber. So, Fidget, then? That's me. And you're Dust? It would seem that way, though I can't recall that name. What is this sword, so, what anyways? Is this sword? I am the blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword, Fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I, I, I challenge you. The winner gets the sword. Well, hang on a second. Well, I... All right, all right, you win. But don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing, you know, whatever it is you're doing. Ah, eh, tough luck, kid. Doing, Hara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside. And from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. Alright, so that is the end of the first bit here. I was trying something new to where, you know, I don't just talk through all the cutscenes and stuff. So let me know if you like it that way or not. So I found a key. Tab. Welcome to your inventory! Alright, I'm pretty sure I know what an inventory does. Treasure key! Alright, I like it. Let's go find some treasures to open, shall we? So, apparently this is a side-scroller. Set with an anthro anthropomorphic kind of furry creature who doesn't know who he is. Excellent. I really love the art style though. It's kind of this like hand-painted type thing. And there's bunnies! How can you not love a game with bunnies everywhere? I mean, seriously. Alright. And there's this kind of weird glowy stuff that's floating in the air. Oh, we can look up and down. Kill the rabbit! Kill the rabbit! Kill the rabbit! Uh, apparently not. Alright. If we go this way? We'll go this way! Ooh, I found a chicken! Mysterious wall chicken! What does mysterious wall chicken do? Found embedded in a wall, this fully cooked and seasoned chicken comes with unknown origins. Sounds delicious. Here we go. Ooh. Hmm. What is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense. And there's something just ahead. Hmm. Treasure, apparently. I found treasure! New ability acquired. Dash with Q and E. Oh. Alright, I like it. Let's let's do this. Can we go this way? No, we can't. We can go this way though. And down. Ah, you can drop down using S and then crouch. Alright, gotcha! So let's see here. I found some more stuff! Is it another wall chicken? Yay, wall chickens! Oh, is this where we use our key? Oh, right. We found a chest! Correction, we found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key then. Ah, oh, well, isn't it just lucky that I found a key? Oh. Okay, so now we have to do something. Oh, that was easy enough, though. Just sort of a little mini game with quick time events or something. 
Oh, can we go this way? I have a feeling we'll go that way later. So, not quite sure, but it almost looks like this game almost has kind of like Metroidvania influences to where you can go back to different areas and find new stuff. Kill them all! Oh, no, I guess not. Fine, we have to be nice to the wildlife. Oh, it's Bambi. Hmm. Calm yourself, Fidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. Should we just mash the buttons? I like mashing buttons. There we go. Nice. Give me the money. Whoa. Nobody said anything about monsters. Strange. Where did I learn these skills? Kindergarten. You wield the blade of Ara, and with it, all the skills imbued therein. Uh, hello, monsters. Is that why I summoned you to control this power? It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters? Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and to think, this morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're going to need them. Feeble fruits? What's a feeble fruit do? A small juicy fruit that does little for hunger, but does plus 20 health. Alright. So we'll take that with us as well. Now how do I use like the wall chickens and stuff? Not quite sure. It did get very, very loud there. Oh, what's this? Saving! Oh, okay. Well, since we're talking about it, I really, really like the musical score in this game. It's very intense and action-packed. And also, I really liked what was in the... Oh, there you go. The music that was in the main menu as well, which I forgot to mention before. But if you have a chance, go back and watch the very first bit of this video. And the music there is just really nice. It's kind of relaxing, and it's got some pianos and stuff. And... All right, that worked well enough. Okay, so it's giving us tips on what we can do to do different combos. Excellent. So let's try left, left, right, right. Ah, that, oh yeah, we'll slam him into the ground. I like that one. All right. So what else we got? S plus left. Okay. That doesn't seem to do much. I don't like that one as much. It got me hurt. Here we go. I do like how the enemies just kind of like turn into light and then vanish though. It's different. Let's catch on fire or something. What else we got? To the dust storm. I like it. Hold the secondary attack to perform the dust storm. But beware, skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. Lem. Maybe I can help. If you press the super ballistic fidget action button of power, I'll perform an attack so spectacularly awesome that it'll produce emotions you didn't even know existed. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. The funny thing is I have a button there on the left of my mouse. That was, uh, very pretty. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. 
The dust storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe. Ooh, shiny! I like it. Wow! Oh, by the way, every time I use my power, it'll use up a bit of energy meter. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. Yes, Dust. Between your combos and Fidget's own powers, you can achieve a higher hit chain, which will yield bonus experience after each battle. However, if you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken. And you will lose your bonus experience. Well, we can't have that, can we? I think I understand. If this is all too much for you, you can check out the help screen via the pause menu. Thanks, Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever in trouble. All right. I like it. It's very shiny. I also like this kind of like temporal effect that you get when you swing your sword. It's pretty awesome as well. All right. So maybe I should have picked a different game with less cutscenes to do the whole, you know, not talking through cutscenes bit, because I feel like I haven't really said much through this video. So here goes. The combat in this game seems very, very smooth. And I don't know if it's just because it looks like you're swinging water at people or not. I'm not quite sure. But I'm really excited to see more combos that we get and that we unlock, as well as new powers and such. So... I was uh, a little skeptical because this is kind of like a side-scroller. But it seems to do really well. It kind of reminds me of like the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games, where they're kind of side-scrollers like this. Although you could go front and back with those ones. So... Here we go. Yeah, we'll save. Yes. Yeah, here. All right. All then. Let's go attack more things. And explode everything. All right. I'd still like to know how to use the the chickens and stuff. I don't even know yet. Everything seems to be going gray, though. I like the way they did the rain in this game. Because it's not its not super distracting or over the top. It's just kind of there, you know? If you, you can tune it out pretty easily. Oh, there we go. And now they changed it to be less rainy. That's kind of cool. Do you see there was a rainbow that passed up on the screen there? For a second as well. All right. We haven't really used our dash ability much, though. We'll use it there. All right. So we can go this way or up there. Oh, we found something. Note added: leap of faith. All right. Oh, more wall chicken for me. Wall chicken. Very windy. Should have brought an umbrella. All right, here we go. Hey, you just leveled up. Leveled up. It. it feels good. Great, even. As it should, Dust. You've acquired a skill gem. Open the character screen for the inventory to upgrade your abilities. All right. From here, you can assign skill gems. What do we want? We have one. Let's do attack. Yeah. All right. Excellent. So everything in this game is very, very super shiny, and I like it. Ooh. Was that because we leveled up? All right. Here we go. Let's see what else we got. Also, we seem to be getting money, and I'm not quite sure what it's for. Which I'm assuming... Oh, and that was like some sort of a gem or something. I'm assuming we'll figure that out later. The good thing is, even though this is kind of like a side-scroller, there's multiple paths you can go through as well. 
So, here we go. We'll, we'll go up and then we'll go down. How's that sound? Alright. Very, very shiny, as you can see here. So, can you believe this came out on the Xbox Live Arcade first? That's kind of weird to think to me, because usually when I was watching and playing Xbox Live Arcades back in the day, they were like, not that great of games, but this one here actually looks pretty good. No escape. I can't go this way, apparently. Oh, I can. Oh, there's people over here again. More things to kill, so what is this? Some sort of a gem or something. Maybe it's just money? We got potions as well. Alright, let's go this way then. There's treasure over here. Wow. It's really yeah. So I'm skipping some of these. Or else, you know, we'll be sitting here forever. It's hard. Very well. Alright, so we must be getting close to where we're supposed to be going. Alright, there's nothing we can do up here, so let's drop down. And, of course, go left. And we'll save. Sure thing. Alright, a little bit more, and we'll call this an episode. Let's get to the... to the uh, village that we're supposed to get to, hopefully. Oh, we got something. A blueprint. Alright, so most of the stuff we've been picking up must be for crafting. That's kind of cool. Hopefully we'll get into that as well. Alright, here we go. We've probably been skipping a lot of really cool stuff. You see there's a lot of different ways we can go. And we missed one way up there. So, which I'm actually going to probably go back to and, and take a look at. Because it looks kind of like a tent. And we got a blueprint in front of it. So there might be something that we can make there, possibly. So let's take a look and see. Here it is. Oh, no, but we do get some more wall chicken. Ah, and some keys. Alright, well, I'm glad I came this way then. We got some very shiny caves, some wall chicken, and some keys. Which I still don't know how to use the wall chicken, that's alright. Alright, almost there. His sword doesn't use look particularly useful. It's kind of really wide and flat and got these kind of weird glowy or er, spiky things on one side we did level up however ah, I can attack them through the wall excellent we'll do some more attack because why not it looks shiny so oh we got another spell thingy new ability hold that mid jump oh very nice let's try that Oh, I'm a helicopter! I'm a plane! There we go. Very shiny indeed. Unfortunately, we haven't really met different characters to battle yet. I'm assuming they'll get harder as we go along. There we go. They've just been kind of these, like, troll things. Dinosaurs, not quite sure. Oh, this is the way we're supposed to go. Alright, where's the treasure boy? And or a girl. Probably girl. Not quite sure. I found a treasure, though. Oh. I messed it up! There we go. We got gems and fruit. Go this way. This is the way we came. This way! Oh, we found a mysterious figure. Is there somebody yet? Alright, let's shop! 
take a look and see what we got here. Expecting you, stranger. You're creepy. Let's go. Who are you? Near the Don't care. Uh, we can buy health items, pendants, augment. All right. Armor. Probably could use some armor. Rings. Dull ring. That's the thing that we have the blueprint for. Health and keys. As well as materials. Augments. I don't know what any of these things do. Let's buy some armor. Leaf vest. Bark shirt. Or a cotton vest. Well, the cotton one's the most expensive, so we'll buy that one, I guess. Alright. And what else can we buy? Some pendants. Uh, this one will do nicely. I don't need anything else. Uh, before you leave, that would de If I may be so bold, please accept. I cannot. Once you. Ah. I. Thank you. Come on. Alright, there we go. Alright, so let's take a look at the nice new stuff that we have. Here's a quest thing inventory. Character. Where's the stuff I just bought? I just bought stuff. Where did it go? So, there are materials here. But how do we make stuff? I'm not quite sure. Stats. Map. Inventory. Armor. That's what I want. I know I bought armor. Yes, that's what I want. Uh, we can also make it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that. That's what I want. Alright. Augments. We don't have any... Rings. Can we make this? No, we can't. Why not? Okay, I guess not. This! That is what I want. And a second ring. Alright! So let's head over to the town, and then we'll call this an episode. Sound good to you guys? Sounds good to me. Ooh, glowy wall! Boom, 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 boom. Alright, we'll go this way then. Something explosive. We need some like explosive diarrhea or something. How am I supposed to guide? Oh! I see. Gotcha. Is this the explosive thing that we needed? It was the explosive thing! We got some more wall chickens as well. Here we go. Yes. Alright. Are we there yet? Alright, come on. We gotta get to the town, man. There we go. That worked out quite well. We got some more things, some paint and some bottles and stuff. All right, let's go this way. Come on, town. Come on, town. Now, why would you just carry bricks with you? It doesn't make sense. But whatever. There we go. So apparently you can also grab and bring stuff with you with your power here. Is this it? Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Up, up, up and away. Right, I've got it. Wait, no. Oh. Having some trouble there? Yeah, I don't know. I just can't get a good enough grip. Aww, he needs to be Spider-Man. That's sweet. Don't worry about it. I'm sure there's a way to get up there. We'll just come back later. Yep. Definitely some Metroidvania style things. Oh look, new enemies! And we kicked its ass. Excellent. Oh, I think we're getting close to the end. Is this it? This might be the town. Looks like we're ready. Be on your guard, Doc. Don't worry, Doc. Powerful foe! Is that it? Oh. It's a spiky slime. Much as I pity the 
allow it to Ooh. Hey, you attack and hold the button at the moment of the enemy strike, and you will parry their attack. Oh, timing is crucial. And as you can see, a successful now. All right, well, that was easier. Let's do that. All right, here we go. Let's go beat some stuff up. Oh, it's a mama bear. I see somebody over there. <laughs> They're like two feet in front of you, you idiot. We're in a bit of a hurry. Who talked to you? Oh, hello. You surprised me. Yeah, don't care. You mean Aurora Village? Don't. And what do you mean? Care. Monster. Still Monster. don't care. Let's get going. Yes. Yes, please hurry while I sit here and do nothing in front of a fire. All right, guys. So this has been Dust and Elysian Tale. You can get it on Steam. This looks like a pretty good place to stop. As well as Xbox, PlayStation, quite a few different places you can get this. I really like it. I think I'm gonna play a little bit further just to see what the story is like, though. It seems kind of generic to me. Look. You know, somebody with amnesia is the chosen one. Ooh, let's kill this thing. Don't worry. Exercise all you've learned, us. All right, let's do that. Ooh, he hits hard. Wall chicken. Wall chicken, I need you! I need you, wall chicken! We're just gonna do this. Almost there. There we go. This almost seems too easy. There we go. We got him. More! More! Oh, wow. Was not kidding. We'll just do this. It seems to be actually rather easy. Oh, no, he killed me! Right after I said that it was easy. Revival stone used. All right, good enough for me. One's down, and two's down. Excellent. We saved the bunnies! Alright guys, I'm going to leave it here, but now you know a little bit more about Dust and Elysian Tale. I'll leave everything down below if you want to check this game out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit that thumbs down, but please leave a comment down below. It helps out my channel immensely. And on this page is a link to my Twitter account as well as a link to my previous video for you to check out. Thank you guys very much. See you out.